So uh, I've, I've just been hearing from um, from X Sphinx X. <laughs> I've just been hearing <laughs> hearing about um, what was it? Destonians were drinking. They're drinking hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Not not all of them. It's just two so far. <laughs> just two of them. Yeah, uh, just which, drinking hydrogen. Which yeah. two was that? Yeah, or? The old one who looks like his face is melting. I think Randy's his name or something. Yeah. And the one with the bull neck. Right. <laughs> you know. I'm bad with names. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. I mean, I've um. Not been too active in regard to Destiny recently, but I've been, uh, well, randomly looking at like cult information and coming across so much of what they actually do here on YouTube, even now. I, I did a search for um, uh, Rick Ross, uh, like cult education, and came across another one of their channels where they're talking about uh, vaginoplasty and... Uh, <laughs> Talking about, you know, uh, all these things with uh, surgery and stuff. You know, a bit weird the way they, they can switch from 2012 on God on one video and talk about, um, well, plastic surgery on the other. And... Yeah, it all relates back to the equal money system. Mm. Everything they talk Everything. about all goes back to the equal money system. Yeah. Like plastic. Plastic yeah. in the ocean. Go join Destiny. Yeah. Spam Ann could be talking about her narcissism, and it'll go back to the equal money system. Oh, yes. The equal money system supports all forms of narcissism. It cures narcissism, of course. <laughs> you know. No, it justifies narcissism. You can be a total narcissist as long as you're doing it for the right reasons, which is the equal <laughs> money system. Yeah. I think that's... It seems to be one of those things. I mean, I'm not sure about the full um, psychology of the situation but it, it seems like a great many people who are like blind believers uh in you know especially cult beliefs like destiny they support their own state of ego by saying i am right you know right mm. it, i mean whether or not that is you know quite literally a um a dangerous narcissistic personality uh someone with uh, narcissistic personality disorder or whatever um it could be debated, but it seems to be the case, doesn't it, to a degree? Especially with some of them. Um, Obviously, you know, <laughs> I'm not qualified in that. I don't think uh, either of you two are, so it's speculation, but even so. I'm good at judging people. <laughs> yeah, well, why not, I've been doing that for decades now. <laughs> they're... they're, they're... The, the thing that I kind of noticed with them is, like, when in the beginning when I, I started debating with them, yeah. is that some of them were kind of open to having, a, like, a conversation. Mm. The thing is, the, the more, the, more uh, the opposition grew to Destiny, it seems like their, it's, it's almost like their, their, uh, their belief structure became increasingly more polarized, so that they, their, their, their opinions about all these things they have became more and more entrenched. Like, like, and they just don't want to, 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 to have a discussion with it. And they'll all, anything that you bring up with them, it'll always go back to, oh, don't focus on the messenger, focus on the message. Mm. The equal money system, it, it's, it always goes back to the same selling points. And, and that's the only thing that they're really interested in talking about. They're not interested in talking about really anything else. They're, they, they don't care if you can you can disprove some of the things they, they say. I think was it was uh, Muertos put up on his blog, he was talking about how increasingly cults and these um, groups, it's, it's less about whether you can prove them wrong factually on something and more about the ideology. It's, it's more about what the ideology means to them and where it can take them. That's that's what they're more concerned with. They're not concerned if there's not so much if, if there's any factual basis behind it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's cha uh, channeling toilet paper as long as they like what's coming on. <laughs> I, I always found that funny, the way in which they could, you know, keep a straight face while talking about the most ridiculous of things. 
I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean toilet paper vibrators. Like there was complete, like, some sort of, like, huge internet joke or something. I was like, this has got to be the, the, the biggest, the best internet joke ever. Yeah. And then, and then you find out they're not, and you go, oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Most people think that way. I don't think they realize it. They think all the views they are getting are from people who support them, mm-hmm. because they delete all these negative comments and they they try to rate the videos up so the negative ratings don't show. So on one hand they're aware of it, and on the other they're completely in denial, because they're really the joke of the internet. Oh yes, definitely. <coughs> oh, sorry. You know, I found with uh, a particular channel called uh, Cult Education. Uh, the one I mentioned with, you know, the really bizarre videos on there. Um, it, all of the information, like the, uh, the feed on the channel, showing what the recent activity had been, obviously all of it was focused on Destiny. You know, thumbing up uh, Destiny, Espanol, um, a number of other Destiny, like, key channels, going there doing occasional comments, but usually just, like, propping up their own, like, uh, like regime... And every little bit of attention they get for like radical um, like stories, you know, talking about uh, like uh, vaginal uh, plastic surgery and and the like, they channel that towards their like fellow like cult members, cult channels, and uh, it's a bit pathetic, really, because I think on some level, you know, like you've said, um, they must know that they are not getting um, these views in actual support, I think on some level at least, because they are simply, well to use the term, attention whoring to try and basically, you know, just seem to be popular, to become well known and think that will make them come to power in 2020 or something, I I don't know it's just really confusing to be be honest that was Disgusting. Sorry to interrupt. What's um, that? This one guy who's always doing the propaganda ads mm. that mm. are, I think, 20 seconds long. He okay. did something about the uh, Trayvon Martin shooting. And he just had the name in the headline and the picture of the guy. And then he was like, Trayvon Martin was shot, visit Destiny. And I'm like, God, that is so disgusting. Mm. That Seriously. Is pre- pretty dark. Just abusing that. Yeah. I mean,. It just goes to prove they will use anything to try and, well, <laughs> stay relevant, become relevant, seem to be yeah. important. And it is that self-importance, I suppose. You know, it's definitely a uh, motion of the ego, to say the least. Yeah, it, has, it doesn't even have anything to do with their message. Mm. I think that's the worst part every time. They, uh, but the, I think that's what most cults do. They yeah. just name drop something that happened, and then they go, "Yeah, well, if we had been in charge, this wouldn't have happened." Oh yeah. I'm like, yeah, right. It's yeah. like I remember uh, Bernard, and he did a video about Lady Gaga. I think it was on the Bernard Pullman channel <laughs> uh, mid last year, and he was saying, uh, "Yes, uh, Lady Gaga, <laughs> she is, uh, <laughs> she is a representative of, uh, <laughs> I don't know." The decadency in society, you know, if we had an equal money system, blah, blah, blah. You know, the usual rhetoric. It was really pathetic. But they had a picture of Lady Gaga, and uh, obviously Lady Gaga in the title, and it was all about attention. It's pure and simple. Yeah. 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 I think that Andrea woman did that thing uh, where she was uh, she was mentioning Lady Gaga and the influence of fashion and how, how you always have to fit a certain image and anything like that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, I, f- I found it weird. First she was talking about Star Trek. Yeah. Comparing Destiny to, oh yeah, that was great. Someone even posted Jean-Luc Picard would have joined Destiny. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> well, well, he already had a lack of hair, so, <laughs> you know, it's uh, <laughs> it kind of already there. I wonder if, uh, e- even if Bernard fantasizes about being captain of the Enterprise. You know, <laughs> j- just put all the pieces together and, you know, a- an equal system. Why not? <laughs> you know. Yeah, but <clears throat> I-, I read that somewhere else where someone was saying, oh, well, they have all this technology where people won't have to suffer anymore. Yeah, that's replicators. Mm, mm. That's the thing. This is, a, this is a universe where you can create food out of nothing. 
Yeah. Destiny does not have the technology to do that. <laughs>